Hey everybody, I just wanted to give you my lesson plans real quick for cycle three science weeks 13 through 19. So for weeks 13 and 14, we have um, a sentence there. And what I'm gonna do for both weeks is I'm just gonna have it written out on my board. You could do it on a small board like this or just have it on like your main board. And so what I'm gonna do is erase a word. So I'll ask the question and I'll introduce it for the first time. And then, so for um, example, week 13 is what is the atomic number, but for week 14, it's what is an element. And so I'll do the same thing for week 14 and have that correct information up. So what I do is I introduce it and then I tell them I'm going to keep erasing a word every time that we say it. So we go through and say the atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom, which is also the number of electrons in a neutral atom. And so what I'll do is I'll erase a word off of there and pretend like you know, it just got so much harder. And so I'll ask them again, what is the atomic number? The atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom, which is also the number of electrons of a neutral atom. And then I'll go through and erase another word. And so I'll ask again, what is the atomic number? And we read through it. And then after a few times I say, okay, I'm really gonna make it challenging and I'm gonna erase two words and then maybe another two words and then eventually, for the last time that we say it, I just erase the entire thing and we say it together and they act like it's, it's really fun and challenging. Um, so that's what I'm going to do for week 13 and 14. And then for week 15, we are introducing parts of an atom. And you can make a better drawing than this. I just kept it really simple for the timeliness of this video. And um, it, uh, it's uh, what are some parts of an atom. And so I have all the parts listed here that we're going to go through. But you could make like a little drawing. You could even color coordinate it. Um, to the parts and so what I'm going to do is let them take turns as we go through the parts of an atom nucleus protons electrons and they're going to point to that part of an atom and so I'm just going to keep it really simple very stick in the sand for the parents I don't want to intimidate parents and like make like construction paper cut out of atoms and do worksheets and all of that and um, we just want to keep it simple and run through it very quickly and then what I do for um when we start introducing the periodic table of elements. So for week 16, 17, and 18, I start off with um, all of this right here is blank. So I'll get just like a white little poster board, right? Periodic table of elements, numbers one through 12. So then for um, week, let's see what week is that? What did I say it was? 16, yes. So for week 16, all I have filled in are these. And we, we can also let them take turns using the pointer and point to them. And then these are blank for um, week 16. Then when I come in on week 17, I have these filled in. So we just point to these. Um, and then when I um, come in for week 18, then I also have these point, um, drawn in. And so we just point take turns pointing to these. And so what is nice about this is that I can start bringing this in for review when we need to review. And we just have this little poster and then typically I get rid of them or we could hang it up at home, whatever. And then I, I do another one for the next cycle where it's empty. Um, so that's what I do for those weeks. And then on the last one, week 19, it says, um, what's the difference between an acid and a base? And so um, if you look, it says an acid donates a hydrogen ion and a base accepts a hydrogen ion. So what's fun is to have like a little bean bag or a ball. If it's something you're okay with writing on, you can write a hydrogen atom or make a hydrogen atom. If you want to go that far, I keep it really simple and um, just use like a bean bag or a ball. And so I have them split up into two sides and one's an acid and one's a base and so one has to give the hydrogen ion and one has to receive the hydrogen ion and we just continue to say it so whenever i say an acid donates a hydrogen ion that's when the acid side passes it and then as the other side is grabbing it then we say and a base accepts a hydrogen ion. And so that's really kind of fun and interactive for them. So that's my lesson plans for Cycle 3 Science, weeks 13 through 19. If you have any questions, just let me know.